Hey everyone, welcome back to Psychonauts. I'm coming to you from the top of Thorny Towers, where we've just completed a daring rescue. We saved a turtle. Don't worry, Mr. Pokelope. I'll get you back to Shigor right away. Man, I can see why Pokelope loves this cake. It looks so moist and delicious. So let's return this turtle to its owner so we can get the help of someone who's actually useful to us. That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Now, here's what we're gonna do. That's what you always say, Shigor. No, this one is really special. It's a fighter. Oh, well, just leave it there. And I'll get to it right after I'm done with this experiment. Okay. Don't worry, baby. Just make sure I get put in that old tank, and Daddy will take care of business. So, did you say they knew I was coming? Yeah! That little army man ought to be here any second! Don't worry, Mr. Pokelope. I'll guard your body and we'll get your brain back. Don't worry, Mr. Pokelope. I'll guard your body and we'll get your brain back really soon. It's doing important work right now. It's on a mission. So, did you say they knew I was coming? Yeah! That little army man ought to be here any second. All right, so they didn't really tell us what the plan is, but you can probably work it out. We gotta take Mr. Pokelope's brain, which is about as big as his whole body. Excellent. There it is. Good work, Shigor. Now all we have to do is get it in the brain tank somehow. Yeah, that. That's not quite what I wanted to do. Anyway, we need to grab the brain and throw it in the tank, and we've already seen how we can do that with telekinesis. If we could just get my beautiful mind into that tank's brain chamber, I could do some real damage. Careful there now. It's time to make the soup. and easy. <laughs> You're so funny, Mr. Pokelope. Someone's got chocolate bread. Someone does. But Rasputin, recranialization of an adult brain without surgery... That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But she were here? knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? Well, if you can lead us to them, we can bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem! Immediately after we break young Miss Zanato here out of her restraints. So that's just a quick explanation of what happens if you didn't happen to get all the brains and return them by now. They do get returned without your intervention. 
Meanwhile, there's not a whole lot left to do in the lab. The force field is gone, and so is Dr. Lobato. We can still mess around with the brain that's there, but I have no idea whose brain that is. It doesn't seem to activate the tank. I guess it doesn't have as much presence as Mr. Pokelopes did. So, about the only thing there is left to do now is go free Lily. Rosputin, instead of that, why don't you help me free Mrs. Zanotto? That's nice, darling, but why don't you help us instead? Can't get okay, a good now grip. I'm really mad. Can't get a good grip. That's nice, darling, but why don't you help us instead? I don't think they've got anything else interesting to say. Raz, come on, we need Break. your help. And I'm leaving this up just to show you that this is what they call the point of no return. If there's anything that you haven't done yet, it's not getting done. Unless it's in one of the mental worlds, which we will be able to return to from this point. Finally! If that thing gave me a cowlick, Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, Psy Cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is... is one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door. <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friend's brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants. So trust me, I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You... Tall people! Sasha! He gets to kill him too! Uh, well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh oh, this looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no. I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Long time no see. Oh, Mr. Orderly. <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax. The asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? And the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Surrender! Never! A 
psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gesundheit! Huh? Ah! 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 <laughs> Wow. That was my fight. I was ready for that one. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. TV? <laughs> TV? Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win! <laughs> So yeah, the coach's brain is stuck inside one of his plans to take over the world. Namely, the psychic death tank. And he's surrounding himself with some pretty tough defenses. We're gonna have to break our way through, and for that, I think I'm gonna need a different set of powers. Cause he's gonna be hurling those rocks at me. The shield is gonna be a heck of a lot more useful than levitation. And I'm going to need pyrokinesis on the side to burn down those wooden fences behind the rocks. So the fight follows a pretty simple pattern. You throw these little rocks at the big ones up front, break down as many of them as you can, and once you've created a sufficiently wide gap, you can pop them in the back, use pyrokinesis to burn down those wooden platforms, which is a lot more effective if you've got the upgrade. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick, actually. Of course, you gotta get a gap in both the stone ring in front and the wooden ring in back in order to get one of these rocks up to the tank. But you do that three times, and the fight will be over. It's all pretty simple once you know what to do. This is all going a lot more smoothly than I expected. You do kind of have to watch out for those little green rivers or whatever the heck it is. Never did figure out. Those will hurt you. You can use levitation, obviously, to deal with them. But it's a lot simpler just to not step in them in the first place.
And I'm not really having a whole lot of luck this third time keeping a gap open. You can smash the rocks as he's throwing them at you, which is really his only form of attack. I prefer the shield, it's a lot more, well, I guess conceptually easier. I'm just so used to any time something threatens me, put up a shield. And there we go. This is just great. Now what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> like I got a choice. Well, it's such a shame he didn't have someone to say pineapple at the crucial moment. We have no inventory, and there's only three powers we can use now. So, I can turn invisible. Which doesn't seem to run out of power anymore. The shield does. And I can use telekinesis, but the only thing that I can throw is Raz's brain. Well, it's kind of hard to do that without seeing. So yeah, it's the caravan from Raz's mind, and this little set of rabbit hutches, which must be the coach's mind, and some mysterious voice calling out my name. There's nothing out here, as far as I know, so we'll have to head in the caravan and chase after young Morso Oleander. This is a mental world just like any other, so there's cobwebs, figments, and baggage to collect. And an interesting poster. Where is that voice coming from? Anyway, this poster seems to be for the Flying Aquados, an acrobatic troupe. I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat the last time I checked No, no, little buddy, don't go in there. That's a bad place. That's a bad place for bunny. Welcome to the Meat Circus, the most infamous level in the game. Not in terms of collecting everything, but just in terms of completing it at all. And there's a little fortune teller machine over here that takes the place of Ford's laboratory now that we can't get there to turn in brains, cards, and cobwebs that we've collected. We can still do that even though we can no longer return to the real world, not having a body to return to. And otherwise, the level is just... basically a circus, only most of it's made out of meat. Which is kind of neat. 
And I like the posters up here in the background. It's the first time, as far as I know, that we learn what Rasputin's last name is, because it's not mentioned anywhere else in the game, as far as I know. And Aquato is kind of an interesting name to be attached to somebody who dies if he touches water. Down here is the last confusion upgrade, and the reason that I didn't want to hit level 95 before I got here. Once you hit rank 95, of course, you get the infinite ammo upgrade, and then all the regular ammo capacity upgrades disappear, which means I wouldn't have been able to collect this one. We can at least return to the collective unconscious from this point. And from here... Obviously, we can't return to Sasha's lab, but we can get into any of the mines we've already entered and collect all the stuff that I missed before. So, I'll be doing that in a couple of roundup videos before we go on and complete Meat Circus proper. So, join me next time when we begin our victory lap.